All right, hear me out. I built a bike specially for the Singapore National Day celebrations. Do you want to see it? Let me bring you into my edited computer and show it to you. And to ride around with. It had to be clean and simple. What do you think about that? Let me rewind and show you all the details. Let's go. Singapore is a Brompton crazy country. There are thousands and thousands of Brompton cruising around at this little red dot every day. They even have their own Brompton Day as early as 2012. I remember my first time joined the Brompton Day ride in the 2013. There were over 300 riders. And the year after that, 2014, we are topping it off with more than 400 Brompton riders participating in such events. And more recently, the 1 million Brompton came visit to Singapore and there were way over 400 Brompton riders came out to celebrate such events. What? You don't believe me? Check this out. But you get the ideas, right? I just wish I was there for the experience of it. Most of you have been this channel for a while. You know, I used to live in Singapore for a decade. It was during that time I find my relationship with the Brompton. Riders would often like to gather up for a ride to celebrate some special event. The National Day on the 9th of August included. I like building bikes and I'm obsessed with repurposing my Bromptons. So I was thinking, what is this better than building a special bike, a Brompton to celebrate such event? But hear me out. Here comes the hardest part of the whole deal. How do we make the Brompton special? So what's the first thing come to your mind when you want to prepare a bike for the National Day theme ride. Maybe a national flag sticking out from the back of your bike or you can fly the national flag behind your back when you're riding. Would that be it? Not sure if you know, I love powder coating my Bromptons. So why don't we send the Brompton in for a fresh round of color powder coating? Before we bring out the spraying gun, let me show you my favorite place to source the powders. My choice is always with the prismatic powders. For the purpose of this Brompton build, I have picked the Illusion Cherry together with the Clear Vision to compose the red color and the Pearl White for the white. Okay, once we got the powder, there are three main steps that we had to go through with the process. Step one, sand blasting. This is where the existing color paint on the Brompton get removed it and have the surface prepared for the long lasting powder coating job. Step two, powdering. This is the actual powdering steps. This is where the powder that we bought before and get blasted onto the Brompton parts. Okay, the last step, baking. Or oh, not this kind of baking, but similar. I'm not even sure if baking is the right term to use it. We set the powdered parts into a preheated large scale oven to let the powder get melted and fixated to the metal surface. Does that make any sense to you? If the post has gone right, we should have a perfectly colored Brompton frame and parts for the bike build. Do you remember what we saw at the beginning of the video? Let's roll back a little bit. My idea was to build a very simple Brompton to ride around with. It had to be clean and simple. To me, the crank is the most special part of the entire project. Of course, the thin color powder coating was special too, but this is an, uh, on another level. Do you want to know how it was made? No? But i show you anyway. It will be really quick. There are a few steps here. So in short, we run a few samples and prototypes and bang, voila, we came out with the final version of the special custom Brompton built chain ring. My god, I'm trying to use as much red, white and silver parts to the Brompton that I could. Let's use a few pictures to explain the details. My idea was to build a very simple Brompton to ride around with. It had to be clean and simple. I had picked a single speed system to eliminate the shifting cables, a pair of custom built wheels with my most trusted silver color Azuri rims, red nipples for the little matching details, silver spokes, with the original Brompton hubs. A bronification single speed tensioner. I don't even 
know if they make this anymore. And then I installed with a pair of ultralight and smooth tissue tensioner wheels in red color as well. A titanium seat post and handlebar in brushing finish were preferred. All right, wait a little bit here. This is the future Petrelli here during the editing. Please stay and watch the video until the very end. I had actually made a further update on the Brompton after the National Day celebrations. It should be pretty interesting, so stay tuned till the end. I had off for the single front only braking system here. We went for the radial lever and the braking caliper combo. Before we confirm with the silver version of the radial caliper, we had to make a choice between the red color and the mainly silver colorway as well. What do you think? Tell me in the comment area. The crank being used were the Radia ES crank with the special red color spider and the caps between both sides of the axle. The MKS Permanade, no, perma Promenade. Promenade Easy Pedals were used. The Tanky Japan headset, the HNX stamp catcher, the HNX seat post clamp. Not sure if you noticed the fork the triangle and the stem used on this Brompton build were all aftermarket titanium parts as well. Overall, it was a very nice and simple build. The ride was very snappy. I remember we went out for a ride to the Brompton Junction at Funan Shopping Mall. We had taken a good group pictures with this special build of Brompton in front of the junction. Too bad I couldn't locate the pictures that were taken by some of the other riders' camera. Hey, if you're watching this video and you got such picture in hand, please get in touch. I love to have a copy of that photo. For the meantime, we will have to live with the AI generated pictures here. I'm so sorry. Anyway, for all of my viewers in Singapore, I do wish you a happy National Day celebrations. Ride hard, ride easy, but make sure you are proud of yourself and enjoy the special event. Oh wait. It's not ending yet. Remember I said I want to build a clean and simple Brompton to ride around with? The current state of the Brompton wasn't to my expectation just yet. I wanted to do something more. Inspired by this bike build with zero cabling that I built earlier, I wanted to have something without much of the cable exposed as well. So I had this crazy idea of running the cables into the stem and coming out from where the brake caliper is. I wouldn't go into too much of the details here now. There are just too much boring technical details. I will let a few pictures doing all the talkings here. However, if there are anyone who are interested in knowing how I did it, please let me know via the comment area and surely I can make something out for you. Oh, I had switched out the Brompton original front hub to a Faxon smooth the rolling hub with 20 spokes supported to save a few grams too. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the deep end, I shall see you on the next video. Dash!